All right, what is going on guys? It's your boy Faze Rug and I'm here with Kaylin and we are about to explore my brand new house with a real ghost hunter And I know you guys are thinking rug How can everywhere you go be haunted and I think I might have an answer because yeah, this is legit ever since I've messed with the Ouija board a few years back I always felt like there was a spirit attached to me. It might sound crazy, but everywhere I go mm -hmm. some activity happens that stuff actually messed me up off camera I would wake up with like scratch marks on me I would always hear stuff and I would just feel like there was something watching me at all times so I decided to just cut the Ouija board out of my life ever since I moved into this house Kaylin and I have experienced some noises some sightings it left me no choice but to call a legit ghost hunter sadly Sam and Colby are out of town it would have been great to do this with them but I found someone very legit we're gonna go around my house and hopefully not see anything or hear anything but yeah I hope so but a few nights ago I was here helping Brian organize stuff because he's still like you no know, moving in and I was sitting in a room He actually had fallen asleep I was sitting in a different room and I was organizing his stuff and I thought I saw something run past the door And I thought it was Lola. I got up. I looked I was like Lola Lola didn't see anything got up went to his room to see what he was doing Him and Lola were both sleeping and I a hundred percent saw something because it was terrifying And a few nights before that I was walking to my room upstairs and then I heard footsteps downstairs Keep in mind I was home alone So I just paused for a good two minutes at the top of my stairs and I just like stood there in complete silence and I didn't hear anything anymore. Oh god, and that just freaked me the hell out This is a big house. You might hear creaks here and yeah, there Of course, but what I heard was footsteps what Kaylin saw was what she explains as like a small little figure Almost maybe like a dog backstory behind this whole thing that I just learned a week ago This house actually burned down. Okay, this house was a part of a fire back in 2007 and it didn't get rebuilt till 2017 it took 10 years for them wow. to rebuild it. This was just an empty lot after the previous house burned down. It's called the witch fire One of the biggest fires to break out in California history But I do genuinely think there's something attached to me and I'd love to see your feedback in the comment section after you guys watch the whole video Let's go meet Matt. <laughs> all right So we're lighting candles around the house because we're gonna turn off all the lights ah! We got all of our flashlights here. All right, let's go meet him. Okay. I always get anxiety before these videos. Yeah. Hey Matt nice yeah, to meet you. Good bro. to meet you too, Brian. Man. Hi, Kaylin. How you doing? Come on in. Hopefully we get some like crazy activity in this house. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Last time I've done this with like a few ghost hunters at my other houses, they say like they feel something when they walk into the house. Not sure if you did. Uh, sometimes it doesn't happen right away. That's not to say that something won't start happening. I see you brought some ghost equipment. I did. I brought some stuff here with me tonight. Some of this actually does look familiar. Uh, the REM pod for sure. I used okay. this with Sam and Colby and it went crazy. And the infamous spear box. Sweeps through radio frequencies very quickly. So if you hear a sentence that spans across 10 radio frequencies, there's no way it could have been a radio station. Okay, okay. I mentioned it to you a little bit over the phone, but this house did burn down. Okay. Could that mean anything? Like with the, the house burning down, like that, there could have possibly been like right. a spirit here or maybe like a death. I don't know if there yeah, was a death. Very well could have been. Sometimes these things, when they burn down or there's a spirit that's attached to the old property, gets really upset when things like that happen, especially if something else is built right on top of it. Because it's no longer their home and they feel pushed out. Okay. That's why we're out here because we're going to get to the bottom of it. We'll get to it. We're gonna get the lights turned off and get started. All right, so we were getting the ghost equipment ready and Matt had changed the batteries last night to prepare and this one's not turning on. And you said like sometimes spirits like to like mess with you like that or? Oh yeah, spirits can sometimes manipulate uh, electronics and drain the batteries very quickly or almost instantly like that. Especially if you're capturing like activity, huh? Yeah, they know that you're about to try to find them. That's usually when they'll mess with your equipment. Let's see if another one turns on. Maybe they drained all the batteries. That's another EMF. Yes. Look. Wait, it's on low? Every piece of equipment? No, there's something wrong here. Stop! Can we set the REM pod out here just okay. in case anything happens? So this REM pod right here has three functions. It'll detect proximity. So the closer something is, it's a different light that lights up. It'll also detect variations in temperature and electromagnetic frequencies. Three different functions in one piece of equipment. And usually like you leave that on its own where no one's nearby. So in case yeah. it does go off, no one yeah. will think that like we did anything. Exactly. Here's a clip actually from my other video with Sam and Colby of it just going crazy. How do we begin? Can I try turning this on? Yeah. Wait. Wait. 
Do you guys not hear that or am I tripping? I shouldn't have turned it off because now it's going to calibrate again, right? Set it on a flat surface and let it do its thing. All right. Wait, is that that's spoken? not it calibrating right there. Wait, whatever all that was. Wait, so what if, what if it's because of that? Should I move it? Yeah, move that C. Wait, that's me, you guys. That's me. <laughs> I got scared. Hold on. So that's not supposed to happen. No. Oh, great. Cool. Perfect. This is like the worst part is like if we actually find stuff, like why is it still going off? This is actually gonna like scare the hell out of me when I'm home alone. So if it was like something that's causing that to go on, then it would be a steady just but, e Can I try speaking out loud? Of course. Okay. Actually, you're the ghost hunter. If you want to like maybe start us off here and like you know how to talk to them more than I do. Okay. It's not doing it anymore. Yeah, it completely stopped guys. That's actually crazy. If there are any entities here with us that wishes to make themselves known, now is your time to come and speak to us. We put out a couple of pieces of equipment here. Can you come and touch them for us? Okay, I mean, bro. Oh, I can't look my back. What? Wait, what bro. Is that? Dude, it just did it in like a certain. It's a it's pattern. It look yeah, the pattern. Does that mean anything? What are the numbers it's on? Five. Four and five. It keeps going from five, five to four. four. No, wait, why are you smirking like that? There's something. What does that mean? The five and the four, there is something there, there's a correlation. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if I can say it on camera. Okay, maybe say it off camera. That's wait, can you stop it? Okay, that's actually crazy. We can't put it on camera, but that's actually crazy. It actually makes sense as to why it's doing this. So you think so, just based off of that, do you think there's something here? Yeah, for sure. It's doing a full on pattern. Bro, like I, like, I can't feel my back. This always happens. Like my spine is just like, I can't feel anything. But I love that it all stops. Like, oh, thank you. Just kidding. <laughs> I have a feeling that at some point I am going to cry in this video. What do you want to do now? What's what's the next step here? Something that we could do is turn on the spirit box. If you want to just walk around, I'll even let you hold it. You can walk around just asking questions. If they feel like replying, they'll talk to you through the speaker. Okay, let's do it. Sometimes I tend to miss what this says. They sometimes point it out, which is oh, crazy. Yeah. Like the viewers watching will like have their headphones in and hear things way more clearly than we do because like we're just so in the moment. But I don't know if you have a good ear on this. So if oh, I, I miss know. anything, like just let me know. And if yeah. you guys hear anything, let us know. Should we start walking around the yeah, house? Start walking around. It would be cool if we left the REM pod somewhere where like even if we're upstairs, we'll be able to hear it if something happens. Yeah, definitely. Maybe by like the staircase. So we should set this. Maybe just like look, nothing around it, right? So so maybe we could start by going upstairs because that is where Kaylin saw the figure and that's where I heard the footsteps is when we were walking down the hall. No better place to start. All right, let's go. I'm not sure if there are any spirits in this house, but I am the new homeowner. My name is Brian and I come in peace. If there's anyone here, if you can make yourself known by speaking through this spirit box. Something. Do you have a name that we can call you by? Some of the real quick responses are not gonna be anything. That might just be a radio frequency, but if it's oh, you like hear a yeah, you'll, word you'll, or something, yeah. You'll definitely tell the difference. Okay. So as soon as we walked up the stairs, I immediately felt something to the left. Is there something up with like maybe that room at the very end of the hall? Uh, have you, yeah, have you seen anything, heard anything there? I was, this is where I was the other day and I saw something run past the door. Towards the laundry Towards, towards yeah. that way. Because I feel something that direction. And every time I leave the laundry room, like, I just get scared. I always find myself, like, looking back to, like, just make sure that there's nothing there. This is the room that Kaylin said she, like, saw something walk past. Yeah. So this used to be a little girl's room, obviously, from the last homeowner. If there are any spirits in this room that can make themselves known, please say something through the spirit box. Who's here with us? Did I say someone? Do you know where you are right now? That was something. Yeah, what was that? that was, it was really broken up. I couldn't, I couldn't tell what that said. Wait. 
Is the uh, dryer and washer on? No. They're off. They're off. Are you sure? I'm positive. Something tells me that we should just go in that room. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's what your intuition tells you. That's and cool. I think that's what you mentioned too. Yeah, at the end of the hall, I just feel something at the end of the hall. So the milligauss is going up. Great. It was steady at a three or a point three back there, and it's jumping up to point four okay. as we come closer to this room. Who's in here right now? If you're in here, I want you to touch this device. What would happen if they do? You'll see the numbers start to skyrocket. You could try this. There's someone here with us right now. Please make it known. It's so hard to hear. I heard you're welcome. It sounded like something said you're welcome, and I don't know if y'all hear anything different, but I thought I heard you're welcome, and it was like a, a low sounding male, like an old male voice. But why would they say you're welcome? Yeah. All right, so we brought another EMF meter, the same one that was actually going off earlier. So should I keep this off for now, maybe? We'll probably put this in the kitchen and actually try to talk to it at one point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. So I'll set this off to the Set this off to the Sorry. side for right now, it's all good. Okay, so we'll try to make this. Okay, I touched it, that's why, yeah. right? Okay, um, you do the honors. If there's anything here, I'm telling you to come over to my voice, follow my voice, and we wanna talk to you. I have a few questions and I'm here to help. So if you hear my voice, come here to me and talk. Wait, is that the, is that the REM pod? Sounds like what? it. No, 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 no way. What? Is it? I'm scared. Oh, give me, give me, give I'm me. scared. Wait, there's no way. We stopped. It was it's coming to this voice. That's why. Wait. The light's on. Wait, the, wait, was it not on before? No. No, it was, I think. I think it was. You guys heard the REM pod, right? Yeah, I heard that. There's no other device out there. It's on. It's just the REM pod. Should we... Yo, yo, okay, okay. right next to it. What? Oh my gosh. So was it like probably coming upstairs yeah, to yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. It may have been downstairs where the thing was going crazy and it may have started coming up to us because I told it to come to, to my voice. Oh my gosh, so maybe it was downstairs in the kitchen. Maybe. Where the first thing happened. Exactly. And then it was coming upstairs to your voice. Yeah. What if it's on its way up? Noah, you're kind of right there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's really rare for the REM pods to go off. Yeah. Oh, it's staying there. That light has a proximity meter. And so that's within like maybe a foot of that thing. And it stops. What is that? Was that the device in there? That was. Oh my gosh. What? No way. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look, look, look. Dude, it's going off. And it dropped. <laughs> Five, four, six, four. Okay, so it sounds six and four. No, not this house. All right guys, new house tour coming out in six months. Imagine this sold my house. It's turning on, turning off essentially, but why is it always going to the six? Six, six, Stop, stop, six, stop, six. stop, stop. Wait, so that means it's turning on and off? So yeah, yeah, you hear the squeaking. That's what happens when it's being triggered. When it turns on, it's going to the six. If the REM pod was going off and this is going off, could they control it from anywhere in the house or could do they have to be near it? Depends on how powerful they are. Now, why did this start going off or after could, the REM pod? Could there possibly be two? Don't say it. Don't, they can't. I mean, it's very possible that there's two, three, four, five. I just want answers though. Like, I want to know if someone was in here during the fire or like, if there's just something here. So I think yeah. the spirit box well, is like our stop. only answer, right? The spirit box. Um, well, I say we should take this back maybe downstairs. We could talk to the spirit box maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There also is an attic. You guys. Are you willing to go in the attic? Of course. We got to check out the attic. Who knows if those footsteps were coming from downstairs or above the attic. My big his fear is like if someone's living up there. Yeah, That's, I've heard about that. It's a thing. It is, so um, let's go grab a ladder together. I'm not going downstairs by myself. Okay, so the REM pod is still there. Sam and Colby told me that the REM pod is rare to go off. Like, you literally have to be that close. Attic time, baby. We should bring the REM pod too. Oh yeah, let's get it. All right. I don't know how good of an idea this is, to be honest. This is where it actually gets like really scary. So, Caleb, I don't know like if you're gonna be able to get up. That's yeah. 
No. You just stay down here. <laughs> Great. Let us know if you hear anything. Yeah. Great. Do you think you're gonna be able to get up? Yeah. I know okay. I will. <laughs> Coming from a five foot six guy right here. Wait, wait, wait. Should you go up? If you want me to go up first, I will. <laughs> Because I actually like the footsteps are no joke. Like I actually might think someone's living up there. I'll go up there first. Just be careful, man. This takes me back to my old ghost hunting days when I would go in the attic. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't see anybody, so that's a good sign. Okay. Great. It's a great sign. No, do you want to go up next? Yeah, I can go next. Okay. Okay. Oh man, very creepy in here. I'll tell you that much. Good luck down there. I mean, maybe if you want to go to the room and turn it on, we'll be up here. Okay. Where do you want to set this bad boy up? Well, I felt something over there when we came up the stairs, so maybe put it down there a little bit. Okay, yeah, I could set it there. You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, How's yeah. that? That should be good. I don't think there's any electronics right there. <sighs> You guys are gonna have to be the detectives of this video in case we miss anything from the spirit box. I love reading the comments on these because they'll point out things that like sometimes just go over your head. Oh yeah. It's insane. Now in FB7 mode. Why'd you make that face? That wasn't a radio frequency as soon as we turned it on. Oh man. All right, so earlier you were making some of the equipment go off. We're up in the attic. Can you come in here and say something to us? Can you come say hi? If there's someone up here in the attic with us, please come say hello. All right, so I don't think you have any power at all. Come on, show me what you can do. Use my energy to make that go off. I don't think you were ever a human. I think you were something else, am I right? What's that? Demonic. <laughs> they all. Wait, you see two figures? The second I turned it on. Here. Wait, like just right in front? Right, yeah, right here, right here. Okay, no. But Could it possibly be those bear bricks sitting on those things? Should I go like remove one of them just to make sure? But look at that. Is it supposed to be dancing it like that? It looks like it's like right in front of these poles. Oh wait, it disappeared. It literally just walked. Wait, both of them, both One. of them disappeared. Is that normal if you walk past it? When you it? walked, it was on you. So a lot of these things, if you try to get close to them, they will move. It's so. not there anymore. Wait, what if you come back? Will it, will it come back? Well, I mean, that just confirmed it wasn't the bear brick. Yeah. Right? It literally moved with you when you left, when you moved. Oh my God. Yeah, I literally just turned wait, it wait, on. Did you, did you hear, hear that? that? I did. Something over there. What the hell is what? that? This is the SLS, right? This is the SLS <laughs> I mean, camera. There's no better way to explain than what we just saw. With Ex this exactly. Do you think it would be the best move to start walking around with this thing and seeing if we capture anything else? I don't know if I want to like... It walked that way towards the kitchen where oh, the, did it? there was a yeah. noise. Okay. It went that way. I think yeah. we should go in the kitchen with it. We can definitely take it wherever you want to take it. Look, 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 look. Wait, it's there, it's there. It's, back. it's there. Now you go over here. No. <laughs> Wait, hold it. I want to walk past it. No, keep the camera on there. I want to see if it'll you know, like. Okay, I'm going to walk past. Keep going, keep going. Keep... Look, look. That's what it did with you. What it does that mean? It what does went, that mean? As he went, it went with him. So this will pick up our figures too. But we weren't standing in front of them. Yeah, we be honest with you, not 100% sure what that would actually mean. Are you mean. serious? <laughs> you don't know what that means? <laughs> so it can mean a couple of things. It can mean one, that it's just thinking that these poles are humans, but they're not. It could be something, as soon as you get close to it, attaching onto you. Okay. Oh, something okay. running away from you. It could mean a couple different things. Okay, I say we take this to the kitchen in the living room. It's weird, cause like, we went into the attic. We... The air. But the air is all off. On. I, this, this happens, like we, we hear, hear it. Yeah. We checked all AC units, like it's not that, but what could it possibly, maybe water? The, the water heater or something yeah. like that. Just... It's crazy that, we went into the attic, which is like, quote unquote, the scariest place to go in. Like we didn't get any activity yeah. there. Yeah, there was like nothing. But then down here, we're getting a lot of activity. So first off, if there's anything here, I want you to come to my voice. Are you here with us? This is that light at the end of that hallway. You don't see it when you actually look down. What the heck? What is that? There really is no light down there. That be like the glare off of anything, or what is I don't that? Feel like you'd see it, you know. Yeah, there's literally no light down the hall. Yeah, it's just black. You don't see anything, right, from that angle? 
I mean, you would see it in general. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. It's, it's literally there Amazing. flashing. Yeah. Was that you? Can you do that again? Did you guys ask a question? It just, it just, randomly, it just went off. randomly went off. And it wasn't the, uh, the light, it was just the EMF right there. What does that mean? Oh, oh, oh. Now the temperature. All right, can you back away, please? Back away from the device. Okay, I'm getting the chills now. It just got cold now. I did, yeah, that's yeah. why I just got the chills. What does that mean? It's coming towards us or back there? I think it, maybe it's like, is it hiding behind the poles? Maybe it, it wants, it's curious. It wants to know what we're doing, what you're doing, but it doesn't necessarily want to be seen. No, yeah. Wait, are you close enough for it to trigger? Nope. And the thing is still there. Look at how, okay. You want to use some of my energy? What is that? Do you hear that? I heard something upstairs. Oh gosh. No. Oh, guys, what the hell? All right, we hear you. You can back. Oh, see, that's like the little heat thing. Yeah, but, but there's no, I promise you on no everything, heater on. there's no heater on, no AC, but we hear that all the time. There has to be some sort of like system in here, yeah. but why is it now? Like, I'm sorry, that REM pod thing, just like, I can't feel my body right now. Can we maybe center it with the REM pod, like right here? Maybe we might see something. They're trying to like mess with us, like they're trying to trick us. Yeah, don't they tend to do that? Like they like Some to prank you? Yeah, those are called poltergeists. They're very oh mischievous. I don't know, this is just, I hate thinking like that, but like what if it doesn't do anything because they know we're filming, but then once this is all over and I'm home alone. Very possible that that's when the activity can pick up. I don't know, I still think we captured some like pretty good evidence here. Didn't get any answers as to like a name no. or anything, but. Not to scare you, but if it was a demon, not just like a human passed on, it wouldn't give you its name because you would have power over it. So by not receiving its name is not necessarily a good sign. That's not, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Great, great. I need to go home now. I... So what exactly does that mean? Temperature That's shift? the EMF, the EMF meter in there, meaning the electromagnetic frequencies are being altered somehow. What better time than to end the video? As it's still going off. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I just want to give a huge shout out to Matt for coming down here. His YouTube channel is in the description if you guys want to follow him, that'd mean a lot. And I want to ask you, can you please stop that? Shut up. That's so weird. How does that happen? <laughs> It'll listen to you. Okay, listen Matt, so being a ghost hunter, after coming to this house and doing what we did, what are your thoughts on it, like? Did you hear that? I actually heard a whisper. Okay, anyway, I'm just, I'm losing my mind right now. What are your thoughts on the house? Did you feel anything? Do you think something's here? Definitely when I first came in, I didn't really feel very much, but as the night has progressed, things have started to happen. Something's here. Maybe it's something that we were calling out to come to here. So if this place wasn't haunted before, maybe it is now. Dude, that's what I didn't want to happen. Perfect. Oh no, I just got the chills. Maybe when you were being like super aggressive in the attic, like I- yeah, maybe. I want to ask you guys if you heard anything, saw anything unusual, if you have answers that we didn't have answers for, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. And if this video gets 250,000 likes, I will go to a haunted place of your choice, whatever you guys want me to do. I can go with Matt, I can go with Sam and Colby, I can go with anybody. Leave it in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe to Matt's channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Kaylin, how was your haunted adventure? I'm glad not too much happened because I'm a chicken. So You're sleeping here tonight. Oh no, I'm going home. Um, but thank you so much for having me and I'm gonna take Lola too, so. Alright guys, we're out. Peace.